So to access the battery, we lift this lid, which is on a gas strut, and that gives us access to the battery area ready for topping and checking the cells. When we come to check the battery, the water level should always be checked after charge, never before. A battery cell, when it's discharging, as in you're using the electricity, draws the water into the cell, very much like a sponge. When you charge, the water is expelled. So if you top before you charge the truck, you risk the chance of overtopping the battery and then the electrolyte spilling out from the cells and causing damage to the battery. So topping is always done after charging. To check the water level in each individual cell, you can see there's a flow on the top of each individual cell. These are topped perfectly because you can see the flow is fully flush to the top. Some of the cells that are starting to use water, you can see the float starting to, to depress in the cell, meaning that these cells are getting ready to start to be topped. To top the battery, you use this autofill system. You just pull the collar, connect, and the water will flow. So this has to be sat higher than the battery. So usually we bring the forks to the top of the mass channel, pop this on the fork full of water and leave for a maximum of 15 minutes. The battery will draw the water that it needs. You'll see all these cells will then come back to the top and the battery's topped. Coming to recharge the machine, we've turned the key off in the cabin. We have to wait 60 seconds, which just lets all the static charge in the cables, etc., and the capacitors on the truck settle. So we open this door by lifting these catchers and twisting. And the door opens. This brings us to the battery and where it's connected to the machine. On this particular truck, it's fitted with a YIQ system, which is a battery monitoring device. We've waited the 60 seconds. We press the emergency stop button in the back of the truck, which disconnects the electrics. We pull this handle, which releases the battery plug, pull forward and brings, which releases the machine for charging. The machine's fully charged. We release the, the plug from the battery, place the charger handle away somewhere safe. So to reconnect to the machine, we place the plug in line with the guides, and push the handle into place, which puts the battery plug together. Release the emergency stop button and close your door.